What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So before we dive into the content of this video, I want to encourage everybody that's watching this video that isn't subscribed yet to subscribe to the channel. Your subscription helps the channel get out there to the people that need to see it and also helps me grow my YouTube and lets me know that the videos I'm posting, you guys are enjoying. By now, if you are subscribed to me, you know me. I keep the content coming for you guys. I push out the videos you guys wanna see. If you wanna see something specific, comment under below. You guys know I respond to everything and you know you can reach out to me on Instagram if you want a more private question answered or just general advice. Usually I promote my videos on other platforms, but I'm trying to get away from posting my videos in Facebook groups and on my Instagram timeline. So everything I won't always post on Instagram or in face Facebook, so the best way to keep up with the channel is to just subscribe. So today's video is going to be about taking a successful gap year. As you can see from the thumbnail, I graduated college in December of 2017 and I did not apply to dental school until the 2020 app cycle. So stay tuned to the video to find out what I did while I took these three gap years as well as what I think are the most successful things to do during your gap year if you plan on taking one or more than one. If you are a pre-dental student, make sure you watch this video all the way through. At the end of the video, I'll be giving you a piece of advice that's specific to pre-dents that may save you a lot of time when it comes to applying and taking gap years. This is a very important tip that you do not want to miss. So I try to make videos based off of my own experience that I know people that watch my channel can relate to. And one thing that's commonly discussed in the pre-med and pre-dent world is the topic of gap years. So as you can see from the thumbnail, I took three gap years before applying to dental school. In 2017, I graduated from the University of Maryland College Park. At the beginning of 2018 until the summer of 2019, I worked at the NIH as part of their post back ERTA research program, and I'll link that below so you guys can check out more info on it. From the summer of 2019 until May 2020, I did a post back program at George Mason and Georgetown universities called G Squared. Right after I was done with my post back program, I applied to dental school, which is a one year process. So if you're looking to take a gap year, my number one piece of advice would be to figure out what you need to accomplish during this year, if anything. Some people take a gap year because they need to retake the DAT, maybe improve their GPA or retake some classes, while other people just take a gap year to get a break from school, and they basically have what they need to get into school already, but just wanna take a gap year to make some money or something like that. So if you are taking a gap year because you are not sure about whether you're gonna get into school, that's the problem you need to focus on. And what I mean by that is figure out what makes you think you're not going to get into school. If you think you have a low GPA or your grades aren't necessarily where they need to be, don't get into the idea of thinking, OK, well, I'll just work and get more experience in the field and try to dance around what's necessary. This is how you end up taking more gap years than necessary, like I did. What I could have done instead of working at NIH was probably just immediately started a post back program and then apply to dental school. That would have been a much better investment of my time than the way I went about it. If your GPA is pretty well, but you need to retake the DAT, then your best option would be to study full time for the DAT and retake it before getting a job. This isn't necessarily a reality that many people can afford to live, but if you can, try to study for two months straight for just the DAT, take it, and then worry about what you're going to do in the meantime. But your main focus should be retaking that DAT and applying. Now, if your GPA is pretty well, but there's a couple of courses you're not sure about, focus on retaking those courses instead of taking a whole post back program. If there are only some minor errors on your transcript that you want to fix, then you should look into retaking those classes after you graduate, rather than paying so much money to take a whole post back program worth of courses. Now, one thing that I wish I knew before I applied to dental school, many dental school programs have alternatives for people that don't get accepted that will place you in the class for the next year at their dental school or guarantee you an interview or something alike. If 
you think you are right on the borderline, I would say go ahead and apply. And if you don't get in, see if any of these schools will allow you into their other programs that will maybe get your foot in the door for the next year. When I speak of these programs, I speak of the programs like the Meharry MHS program. I speak of the VCU D.5 program. I think Tufts has a pre-dental non-degree program. There's many programs out there at different schools that you can look into, but even if you don't have any information on them, some sometimes just applying to these schools, they will tell you, we don't think you can make it into our class this year, but here's another option. And that may be better than just applying to other post bag programs that are all out there that you aren't sure whether they're gonna get you into school or not. So I really wanted to keep this video about gap years short and sweet. However, you guys know that if you have any questions, you can comment under the video and I reply to all comments. And if you want your comment or your question to be a little more private, you can reach out to me on Instagram at any time and I respond to all my DMs. Once again, I wanna thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe as well as like, comment, share the video. Do anything you can to help me get my videos out there and grow as a platform on YouTube because I really want to help minority students get accepted to dental school as well as medical school and other health professional schools and just be a resource for young minorities that are kind of trying to find their way along this path to being a doctor. I appreciate all the support and I hope you guys subscribe and catch the next video. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah.